Hello guys, welcome to part 3 of our series on how to design a PCB and then get it professionally manufactured. In this video we're going to be looking at uploading the files to the manufacturer which is JLC PCB. So if we take a look at the website here, uh, this company is clearly focused on uh, designing quick prototypes that are you can see the say they have a lot of customers there it's a huge amount of orders per day and because of that they're able to do these kind of small orders relatively cheaply um it used to be a case where if you wanted a pcb manufactured it would cost hundreds to make a small small quantity of pcbs but now you can get them made relatively cheaply as we're going to see when we start to upload our own design so there's given example there's $99 per meter squared for two layer PCB and most uh, most people would normally only be looking for two layer PCB you don't really need something like four layer if you're a hugely complicated uh, board it's, there's definitely no need for two layers when you're doing something as simple as an Arduino project if you end up needing four layers then you've uh, probably arranged your components badly and you should go back to that stage and rearrange them rather than uh, waste money on a four layer PCB you normally unless it was a complex project get away with two layers you might even get a layer away with one layer if you are careful or if you uh, decided to use jumpers over the top that was a common uh, method uh, in the past I suppose so we can take a look at the capabilities here so they can manufacture one to six layers normally they only have two like I said uh, FR4 that's normal fire resistant 4 so that's normal fiberglass PCB uh, the maximum dimensions 400 by 500 millimeters don't think any of you guys are going to be looking front that big the tolerance for the uh, routing is about 0.2 millimeter so that's like your trace if you had one millimeter trace it could be 0.8 millimeter or it could be 1.2 it's probably going to be in the middle um that's probably reasonably normal enough uh, thicknesses so that's how thick your pcb is uh all fairly normal kind of things there again more tolerances for uh, your milling your minimum trace six mil so that's 0.154 i think millimeters I just looked it up there um so that's the the minimum thickness of your trace the minimum i've used is uh, 0.2 millimeter so i uh, should be all right there uh, the thickness of the copper layer uh, 35 micrometers or 75 micrometers that's kind of normal as well uh, inner layer that's on your if you had a four layer pcb the two layers in the middle they'd be 17 micrometers each drill holes so anything from 0.3 to 6.3 so those are all the limitations of the manufacturing process so as long as you're aware of those when you're setting up your PCB that you don't leave your traces too long or your gaps too small you should be fine uh, but I would imagine they'll tell you if you have done something that they can't do they'll inform you before they try to manufacture it so I suppose the first thing we should do is register with the website and I'm just going to use this one on the right here. So now that we've registered, let's set up our, or get ourselves a quote. So I know my little board there is 14.7 by 22 millimeters. Uh, we probably want maybe 20 then we'll say. Two layers, 1.6, that's not too bad. Maybe, maybe I'll try for smaller layer. Well, let's see what the pricing is first. So at the minute it's coming up at 63 cent but if we went for thinner layer it makes no difference so if you go to two millimeter thick board it jumps massively so obviously that's a harder board to get or more expensive board to get but it seems like any of the other layers it's not a huge issue which you choose I think I'll stick with the 1.6. That's uh, kind of the standard. It's what you get with your, um, what you get to your Arduino Pro Mini. 
the quantity there has jumped up to 30 uh, maybe that's to do with the size of the board that I've chosen here what happens if we want to make less let's say we wanted 5 the order would only be 2 euros so it was more expensive to make 30 was that my imagination wasn't it 60 something 60 cent so it's more expensive to make 20 than it is to make 5 that seems strange There's some quite random pricing here. Normally, the more you make, the cheaper it gets. So let's say we wanted a thousand of them. Okay, only three cents. So if you made a hundred, it's not hugely expensive. You probably never have that much need for a hundred, but you know your difference between twenty and hundred, you're paying less. So why wouldn't you? I think 100 might do, but uh, like, to be honest, 20 would probably do, but if it's going to cost me more, I'll make, I'll make the 100 because it's not costing that much. If we went a different solder mask, or PCB colour even, it looks like we can have any PCB, it doesn't make any difference. That's pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll try a different PCB colour than I normally go green. I'll try blue for a change. That's the copper thickness we were talking about before, the 35 micrometers is fine. Uh, we don't need gold fingers on anything. Uh, FR4 is only one option, but that's fine. Half cuts is when you get your pins and uh, they're kind of cut. They're kind of cut along the centre of the the drill hole or the pad but um, it's something like you see on the NRF24 but uh, we don't need that anyway so I'll leave that one off the panels is where uh, the panel is where you get your board kind of connected they'll do a v-score so that you can just snap them apart if you want so you just snap them along the v-score so it's kind of like a, a milling but not completely milling through the board it's just mills a kind of a v in it so then you're able to snap them apart um, don't really have any use for that to probably just get them loose on this I don't know if it adds anything to it doesn't look like it costs anymore but uh, if I can just get them milled like loose not, not in a panel then that's all the better for me uh, a stencil is used for when you, when the PCB has been manufactured uh, and the it's been going through a pick and place machine. The the stencil is used to put the copper or the to put the solder on the pads. I think so. That's not something I need either because I'm going to manufacture the boards here or just assemble them myself. But if you are getting them manufactured, you do that all right. The only other thing then is. Well, the build time that doesn't really matter three to four days it's not shipping time it's just build time so let's save that to cart and see so now we want to add our Gerber file and you need to add it as a zip file so you need to take all your Gerber files and uh, just compress them into a zip folder then you should be able to save that that looks to be it, so let's save the card. Our order is coming out to only $16, so it's not too bad at all. If we go to check out securely there, brings us up to a shipping area, so we head down just to make sure we have the cost of shipping right. Looks like if you wanted it express, it would take uh, 32 euros, but I mean, if you've only spent $16, you'll probably be happy enough with the registered airmail. It will mean it'll take a good bit longer, so it's be under 2 kilos, so that's not a problem. I guess this is the weight here, that, uh, based on what we've ordered, basically. So we're well under the 2 kilos. Uh, payment method is through PayPal, so that's good, that's kind of normal. So that'll be it, the next step is just pay for it. 
so that seemed pretty straightforward to me uh, if we want to add another item we can go in basically start again uh, which I will be doing because I want to add the the bottom files so I have a second Gerber I throw that in we have 100 and 100 here and it knows the dimension so the next board will be 22.7 17.44 so that's a uh, pretty ideal there I suppose it's the same again if I go up to 100 it'll be 17 centimeters. it's exactly the same so I go blue 1.6 uh, we didn't change anything there I don't think all looks to be right we have 100 and 100. If I save that to cart, it's coming in with our total there. So if we go to check out again, our shipping should have changed, I think. Yeah, so our shipping weight has changed. And it's still costing the same, but yeah, that seems a bit very straightforward way to get your PCBs manufactured. I mean, there was no complications there or so far. But I guess uh, I'll place the order and we'll see if they come back to us with any issues with my PCB design or anything like that. And if all goes well, uh, we should have the PCBs in a couple of weeks and I'll do another video. We'll see exactly what the boards kind of turned out like. And solder up the components and just make sure that they actually work. Another useful feature of the JLC PCB website here is when you go into your account and your order history, if you look over here where you have your orders, you can click on the Gerber file. This opens up the Easy EDA website, I guess. And what you can see here is basically your Gerber files. So we see here our text file. Click on that. Watch our drill holes disappear. Uh, our silk screen so the I think it's the stop silk screen or something like that but take that away and the silk screen disappears off our pads our GTO so it's like outline of chips I guess that'll take away them white lines and then the copper layer is GTL G, uh, top layer so Gerber top layer and you could see our little pads were all disappearing there and if I go to the bottom then we can do the same thing so we see our, our copper layer bottom outline so that's our text there uh, that's the silk screen so you can see that disappeared and then the drill holes again and then overall you can see the whole thing outlined there so that's quite interesting you can uh, disassemble your uploaded files just by checking out that uh, link on the website so if you're thinking of trying to get uh, your PCBs made yourself this is jlcpcb.com that's the website we're using here but you'll probably want to wait and see what uh, my PCBs come back looking like before you decide to manufacture one but you could get working on your Eagle files uh, in the meantime so if you liked that video and found it helpful make sure and hit the like button and if you have any comments or suggestions let me know below the video in the next video we'll be doing the testing of the board but uh, i think that's pretty much everything for this video so thanks very much for watching